Hi guys, in today's lesson, we're going to be evaluating functions. A function is like this, f of x, example, equals 4x plus 2. So we're asked to find f of 0. How would you evaluate this function? So when it says f of x and then it says f of a number, we're going to take that number and plug it in 4x. So we're going to have 4 times 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2. So 2 is how you evaluate the function, is what you get when you do it. So let's say you have a different one, like... Let's say f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 3. And we're asked to find f of, let's say, 8. Same thing, we're going to plug 8 for x, giving us the absolute value of 8 minus 4 minus 3. 8 minus 4 is 4. And the absolute value of 4 is just 4, which is 4 minus 3, which will give us 1. 1 is our solution for the second problem. Now, let's say for the third one, we have something a little different. Let's say we have f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 4 at f of negative 1. I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can solve this one. Evaluate. So we're just plugging x for negative 1. So we're going to have negative 1 squared plus negative 1 times 2 minus 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So we're going to have 1 plus 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2. 1 plus a negative 2 minus 4. Okay, now we're going to simplify. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Negative 5 is our answer for number 3. So we have for the last problem, let's say we have x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 8 at f of, let's say, 2. Let's start. So we're going to have 2 cubed plus 2 squared plus 2 plus 8. 2 cubed is 8. So we're going to have 8 plus 2 squared is 4 plus 2 plus 8. All of that added is equal to 22. 22 is our answer for the last problem. Thank you for evaluating functions with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.